Hi, my name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. And you might be wondering, but Basti, where are you standing right now? Well, you're standing right here. We're actually close to home. It's just, there's not a forest there anymore. And I can tell you what, I'm not used to it. We removed this entire forest on stream yesterday for me. After we removed the forest, we went on a bit of an adventure to see if we could find some fun stuff. And here's some of the highlights. I will not promise victory here. Oops. Get away! I regret my decision immediately. I regret doing this. Why did I put away my... Oh, Christ on a bike. Nope. Okay, uh, as a first attempt, though, that was... We could improve. We could improve. I guess we could go from the top, actually. That would be simpler, I feel. If we go down from here... I guess we could do this. Okay, pig step. No pig step. But golden carrots, and you know what? We'll take it. Oh, we got the smithing template for netherite. That is awesome. What in the world is this noise? What is this? You're right, there is a diamond shovel in there. I get so distracted by whatever is making that noise. That is incredible, the amount of noise they can make, these pigs. Typical pig behavior. Panic, yeah. Yeah. Big panic moment. Get messed up, you messy pig. Pig man. Oh, I locked myself in here with you. That is a good thing. I might have panicked a slight bit, and that may have been my death. Gee, how am I gonna get my stuff back? We do know where the other one was, so we could get things back, probably. Shit, I'm pretty upset about that, not gonna lie. As you can see, a calm and relaxing experience overall. But we did come out on top because we did get our stuff back and some more to boot. We also got two smithing templates for netherite. We got an ancient debris, four diamonds, snout armor trims, a snout banner pattern, a lot of saddles, some diamond horse armor and a wither skull. We did raid a few fortresses as well. Apparently there is five fortresses within like a thousand blocks of my nether portal, which is exciting to say the least. But that also means that when we go out to find more stuff later on, we are gonna have to go farther. We did also get a few trees, we did chop down an entire forest and we've got some logs now. Both oak and birch. What am I to do with them? I have no idea. I don't build with them a lot, so maybe there'll be fuel for the furnace. But that is enough for yesterday and past things. Let's move into the future. What are we going to do today? Well, at first I would like to start flattening this area out and maybe getting rid of the last trees we got here standing in the way of progress. I am also in a little bit of a debate with myself whether we should keep the floating tower of creeper destruction or if it's time to remove it. It is not the greatest building ever, and it does stand in the way of our city. It would be kind of fun if I could plan the city around this tower, but I'm not sure how to do it, so I'll keep it for now. And if we can keep it, I will try to do it. Otherwise, this thing is gonna have to go as well. For the flattening of this whole area, I think I will at least start by removing this top layer. We might have to go lower than that as well. We might have to go down two, but we'll start with one. Then we can adjust later on. But first, let me remove these pesky trees in the way of our progress. So here we are, I just finished cutting all of the trees off of this island, as you can clearly see. <clears throat> as you can clearly see. Don't ask me why it works that way. I don't understand this world anymore, it's just... It's one thing after the other in this world, isn't it? There's animals, alter egos, there's... 
trees vanishing. I swear it's something to do with the ocean goat. Probably he's working his magic. Man, this is confusing. Well, clearly this world is cursed, but like we already knew that. Like that's that's old news by this point. It's just it's a bit jarring still, even though like we know. Yeah. Do you want something? Are you like what some seeds? Don't have any. There you go. Seeds. Nah. Well, whatever. Like you're not you're just a normal chicken. You're you're not even cursed. You left an egg. Good stuff. You on the other hand, you're quite cursed, aren't you, Mr. Ocean Goat? Is it you making everything like so weird? Cuz I know the weird the weird stuff started when you appeared. I know that much. Hmm. Anyways, let's get on with our projects, but before we continue with absolutely leveling this piece of land, I want to go on an adventure, so meet me on the mountain and I will explain more. Now, I have achieved a whole lot of things in this world. We have defeated the Ender Dragon. I have beaten the creepers at their own game. And I have grown some cactus. Important stuff, you know? Yet. I do not own a single piece of netherite gear. As you saw in the stream, we got some netherite armor trims, armor upgrades, I don't know what they're called, but we got them, the things to make netherite stuff. And I would like to get some gear. I would also like to find some more like armor trims. I'm not sure if we can find the ones I want, cause I want ribs. Last time on stream, I went out to try to find that, but I couldn't. Apparently, it's really hard. I'm not promising we find that, no. We might go out empty-handed in regards to the armor trims, but I want to find some netherite. Nether, wait, what is it called? Ancient Deborah. I want to find some Ancient Deborah so I can get my stuff upgraded. Besides, I think think I would look dashing in a pair of black pants. Yeah, so that is the plan. We are going to the nether and we are going to explore, we are going to dig, and we are going to not die, hopefully. Anyways, let's sleep off this night and let's head to the nether. Let's go and have an adventure, shall we? I've been that way and explored a lot, and I haven't found much, so I think we'll go the other way this time. Let's go this way. Oh, that was not far away, was it? I was really looking for one of these before. I wonder where I would find a little fortreso. Try flying underneath here. Whoa, that was almost a really bad idea. That was a bad idea. Oh, that was such a bad idea. That was such a bad idea. Oh, here goes all my things. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Why? Why am I such a dumbass? I lost all the things. That was all the things I had. <laughs> How? Oh my god, I'm a stupid, stupid bot. A real stupid bot. Oh my lord. You know what? I think we save adventuring for another day. That seems like a good plan. Yeah, you know what? I feel like maybe I should get a hold of some armor and maybe a bow and some, like, tools. Yeah, I think that's a good plan for the episode. Hold on, I I'm just gonna go cry for a little bit. Don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> All right, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. And today is also a little bit special. I'll tell you more about that soon. But first, I have an elytra, some sticks, and a bunch of diamonds. Let's go 
and get as much of the gear back as I can. So, at first, I went to the villager trading hall and spent a few minutes just buying book after book after book. After that, we went to the raid farm and got to work grinding up the experience I needed to do all the enchantments I wanted. After that, it's just a simple matter of enchanting every single thing. Except the pants. Cause I was missing Swift Sneak, of course. But I found, without a doubt, the coolest and most vicious looking deep dark I've ever found. Just look at this. Absolutely crazy stuff. Even had to swim for some chests. Never seen anything like this. And after a successful trip to the deep dark, I thought, hey, why not go to the end and see if we can find another backup Elytra? And we did. And a lot of trouble on the way. But overall, a really successful grind. We now have all the armor we had. We should be back to where we were. I also found some new stuff. Like I found Swift Sneak 3, Luck of the C3. You see, I've found a lot of stuff. This shulker box is the stuff I found in the deep dark. And this is what I found when I went end busting. So we should have some stuff for a while now. I got a bit upset at spaghetti that I died earlier and I think I made up for it now. So let's move on with the projects for today. See you down in the field. And here we are. Now, what makes today special, at least for me, is that I am turning 30 tomorrow. Which means that today is my last day in my 20s. And that is kind of cool. Part of the reason I started this channel is because I am turning 30. I was thinking to myself that I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for ages. What is stopping me? Well, nothing. The fear that I would be bad at it. Well, of course I'm gonna be bad at it. I've never done it before. It's new to me. But realizing that, well, I'm getting older and I'm not gonna have unlimited time to try this out, I decided to go for it. And here we are, tomorrow I'm turning 30. And I did actually manage to get a YouTube channel up and running before I turned 30. Now, let's have a piece of cake, celebrate for a short second, and then let's get to building. Well, building might be a strong term for this. We are going to terraform and we are going to, first of all, remove the first layer of this entire piece of land. And fill in some of the creeper holes that some jerk face left here. Well, let's get to it. And here we are. Look at this. This is a perfect platform to start planning out a beautiful city. Imagine Main Street going like some, maybe somewhere around here, all the way back there. I don't know. We're probably gonna have some hills here as well, but we'll see. I'm not doing city planning today. That is going to be a problem for next episode, I think, where we're going to start looking at what kind of city do we want to make. And mostly, where are the streets going to go? 
That is the main issue at hand. Because once we know where the streets are supposed to be, we can start considering what kind of buildings and where they're supposed to be. And also if we can keep the floating tower of creeper destruction. It would be fun, but I'm not sure if I want to anyways. We'll see. Now, there's something else I want to show you that I discovered in a video recently that I thought looked pretty awesome. Look at this. This is a lantern hanging from a floating anvil. How is this possible? Well, I don't know. I just saw someone do this in a video recently, and I don't remember who it was. I just saw it, thought it was awesome, and I haven't been able to find the video again. So if you know the video, please tell me in the comments. The thing is, you might look at this and think, well, that's not possible. That is not possible. Well, it is. This is survival Minecraft. This is not some creative modded creation. You can do this in your world too. Look at this. I've got an anvil. I've got some dirt. Now let's do another one of those. Okay, so all you need to make one of these cursed creations is a anvil on top of a bunch of dirt. Or, I don't know, any block that you can break really quickly. Then you put your lantern in your off hand and your efficiency 5 diamond shovel in your main hand. And then you do this. That is so cursed looking. But you know what? It works. And it's kind of cool. And I, I feel like you could do a lot of things with anvils this way as well. Like, maybe you could hold it up with... Uh, well, I don't know actually what you can hold it up with. I can't think of anything right now. But you know, you could do some cool stuff with it. I'm gonna think about this thing and see if I can incorporate it somehow into the world. And the fun thing about this is, like, if I remove the anvil, that lamp is gonna break. If I break that lamp, that anvil's gonna fall. But together, they hold each other up. It's a cool thing. Now, if you didn't see exactly what I did, I'm gonna explain it as well. All I do is, like, I have my efficiency 5 shovel and I right and left click immediately. As long as you have an instant break block, you can kind of trick the game into believing the anvil shouldn't fall by replacing the block with a lamp fast enough. I mean, it's, it's cool. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's cool. I don't know how I want to use it. Maybe not with a lantern, maybe not with an anvil, but maybe some other falling block. It is a tool in the arsenal that we can use. And I will. But I think that for now, that is all I've got time for. That's right. It is now Sunday and this episode is going up tomorrow and I am running out of time. I wanted to do some more progress, but you know what? If I want this episode to come out Monday as I do, well, then this is gonna have to be it. And you know what? I'm not too upset about it. We did get a lot of fun stuff going. We did manage to flatten out this entire piece of land. We went on an extremely short adventure to the nether. And then we grinded out and got all of the stuff back that we lost in the short minute I was in the nether. A lot of things didn't go my way this episode, but that's fine, that's life. That sometimes, you know, sometimes life hands you lemons and then you eat them. I've had a lot of things to do this week, so I didn't have as much time making an episode as I maybe wanted, but that's fine, that's fine. We did get an episode out, and if you ask me, I think it was a pretty good one. I've had a lot of fun with this one at least, and so, you can do all the things to subscribe, like, comment, join the Discord, link in the description, all that fun stuff. And I would want to wish you a good night, day, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, bye! Wait, what the heck?